now we will learn ab equal to c so let's interpret a into b equal to c this is inverse proportion but before we discuss what is inverse proportion and all let's interpret ab equal to c in all the languages that is words variables numbers and diagrams so a b equal to c where if c is a constant right using words i can re easily replace a by speed or if i replace a by speed and b by time what is c what is speed into time i am sure all of you know that speed into time is distance now if distance is constant that is if distance if it is fixed let's say your distance from the distance from your home to school if i keep the distance as at 3 kilometers let's assume that distance from home to school is 3 kilometers that is distance is fixed right it's not changing let's look at different scenarios i'm i'm trying to uh help you understand ab equal to c using words that is using scenarios which all of you can relate to just like in all the other sections if you are walking let's say at 3 kilometers per hour so what is 3 kilometers per hour that is the speed so i am replacing speed by 3 here using a simple number to complete the right hand side is already fixed that's 3 right you are trying to just fill the speed into time equal to distance speed into time equal to distance so assume that you are walking with a speed of 3 km per hour right hand side is already fixed what will be the time taken that will be 1 so that 3 into 1 equal to 3 km right 3 km per hour in 1 hour with a speed of 3 km per hour in 1 hour distance covered will be 3 km so this, there is a perfect match here 3 into 1 is 3 now instead of walking let's say if you are running if you are running at 6 km per hour distance is still the same so 6 into the time taken you are supposed to get 3 so what will be the time here 6 into 1 by 2 you will get 3 6 into 1 by 2 is 3 the right hand side is constant right i told you that keep the distance constant because that's anyway constant right? we are looking at a practical scenario here distance between your home and school that's we assumed that 3 so that's fixed or that's what is constant here now so we looked looked at the scenario where we were walking at 3 kilometers taking 1 hour uh, in 1 hour you will reach school if you are running at 6 kilometers per hour you will reach school in half an hour that also we understood now if we were if you are cycling at 12 kilometers per hour how much time will be taken so 12 is your this time taken we can easily find out because the right hand side is fixed at 3 this is 12 so 3 by 12 we will get 1 by 4 that is 1/4 of an hour 1 by 4 by taking 1/4 of an hour that is actually 15 minutes you will complete the distance from home to school now what is that you can observe here if you see this table it's very clear right a into b equal to c where c is constant when c is constant so you can easily understand that if you just go through this table that as and when you increased your speed because that's what is happening in the first column right you increase the speed from 3 to 6 to then to 12 because from walking to running to cycling what is happening to time taken it's it's coming down right very simply you increase the speed time taken is coming down more the speed is less the time taken is you don't need this example to understand that if you are using common sense i am sure you will and all of you know this very well that if you uh, go faster you will reach earlier that we just use an example to show you or i just use an example to show you that here more the speed is less the time taken when the distance is constant right and the distance is constant in that kind of a scenario now if i replace if i bring back instead of speed if i replace it by a instead of time if i replace it by b instead of distance if i replace it by c it's a scenario where a into b is c right a and b are said to vary in inverse proportion if ab is a constant now in this case ab is a constant i fixed that constant at 3 by fixing the distance from home to school at at 3 so that kind of a scenario that a and b are said to be in inverse proportion 
if ab is a constant and that is when more of a is less of b 